is that sleep originally was defined on an electrophysiology basis. And that's because the organism you studied sleep in, people um, and mammal and other mammalian models like rats and mice and cats and dogs, uh, you could uh, you look at EEGs and you could take an, an electromyogram and EMG at the same time and then use that to really say, okay, I'm seeing this very particular wave uh, pattern in the, in the, the, uh, the, uh, in the EEG that's, that tells me the animal's sleeping. And so it was um, kind of the golden measure at the time was to, do, was to use electrophysiology to determine that the animal's asleep or awake or in REM. But in this instance, it's a single beam that's in the center here. And what you do is you put in a, a monitor tube which I see seen around here. But it's a glass tube about this long that's capped on one end with yarn so that you can get gas exchange. And the other end has food and, and a seal to prevent the food from drying out. And so what you do is you look to see uh, when the fly moves across this and breaks the beam, then that's considered a movement. And so you can record in real time you know, the number of uh, beam breaks you get. And, and the issue is that we were concerned about is that this is perfectly fine for looking at sort of patterns of movement and when they occur, but it occurred to us that, as you can see here maybe, there's this fairly large gap on this side and then another gap on the other side, closer to the food, that the fly can move and not actually break the beam. And so our concern was how often does this happen? Um, and with all the behavioral measures, Really, e even actually using uh, e EEGs, you're really doing an approximation of, of sleep. So what we do is you take two images, so say five seconds apart, and you subtract the first image from the second one five seconds later. And uh, they're digital. They're, it's we're actually subtracting the grayscale values of each individual pixel, and so the um, what you get then is a difference image. And the difference image uh, is a, um, essentially what you'll get is the grayscale value for all the pixels in the entire screen. And so what you're looking for is the um, pixels that are where the fly was are going to be light, because when you subtract the two images, you, you'll end up driving the value toward the low end, and where the fly moved to are going to be dark. And so what we do is we count the number of dark and light pixels. So if, you, if there's no movement at all between one frame to the next, it'll be a, well, it would be a zero value. But what we do is we subtract the two, divide by two, and then add back, uh, uh, add back the median value because we didn't want to deal with negative numbers. Mm -hmm.